Good morning to all of our veterans, those who have served and who have continued to serve. God bless you for your service. Well, I praise God for the journey he took me and he continues to take me on. I was in the Marine Corps when God showed me the seeking, searching hearts of my brother Marines as all of us looked at the prospect of going to war. Well, soon after, I turned on my commission and I was off to seminary in order to prepare for the Navy chaplaincy. After arriving at Golden Gate Baptist Theological Seminary, I was told that since the Vietnam War was ending, the Navy was no longer recruiting chaplains. However, I was told by my endorsing agent that in the future, the Navy could look at the prospect of bringing me on active duty. So I left seminary and uh, accepted a call to pastor a small but very wonderful, precious church in Hawaii in order to, and also to serve as a chaplain in the Hawaii Army National Guard. Well, about five years later, I received an unexpected invitation by the deputy chief of chaplains in order to come on active duty. However, again, I was told by my endorsing agent that there were others ahead of me and that I would not be considered till a later date. But God, in his very special way, intervened. A month later, I was called to active duty. Well, for 28 years, this has been an exciting, spiritual, and adventurous journey that God took me on. From the top of Mount Fuji with a Marine battalion to the, to the bottom of the Pacific Ocean on a submarine, from the jungles of Laos looking for missing remains of our flyers who were lost over Cambodia and Vietnam and Laos to the meeting in the Pentagon on 9-11. But the most rewarding of all my experiences was leading men and women to Jesus Christ. It has been an honor and a privilege to wear the cloth of our nation's military. My friends, no other nation in our world recognizes the religious rights of its citizens like the United States of America. And it is for that very reason that our country ensures that our service men and women's right to worship is protected under the wise provision of the First Amendment of the Constitution. And that is done by providing chaplains of many worshiping communities. The last verse of the book of Jude says, to God our Savior, who alone is wise, be our glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen.